coaching is empowering because it puts the client in the position of driving, of creating the session, of directing the session. And it helps to, the coach helps to give them tools to be better and better at that. The coaching process itself helps people become better in their own life. And, and that helps them feel more empowered. So coaching is, it's, it's like I was saying a few moments ago, it's relatively easy to learn. You can study it your entire life. You can keep getting better at it. It's, it's, so there's no cap to the amount of skill, ability, and learning that can be put into it. But it's the basics of it are relatively easy to learn and they have a relatively low barrier of entry so it's a great p place to get started. A lot of times when people come to me and say, I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about going back to school, getting a master's, becoming a therapist. Uh, my recommendation most of the time after listening to them and really what their goals are is study coaching first. And the worst thing that will happen is that you will know that you really wanna be a therapist and you'll have a tool and a way of making money while you're in school and, and studying therapy. And, and what happens sometimes is you save, you know, it can be hundreds of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars and a lot of time. And you're able to work, work with people in a way that is really deeply satisfying and very much helping them. So I like that about it. That sometimes is a problem, right? Because sometimes people are not trained well or maybe haven't learned as much as would be beneficial and they start practicing. And, and then, and so that leads to some people thinking that maybe coaching isn't as valuable of a discipline as it is, but that is a, a relatively minor concern. Coaching helps people use what they already know better. So coaching and the process of coaching helps people be able to leverage their, their knowledge that they've gained along the way. It helps people make the most out of this. And the more that you coach people, the more that you learn how to do this because you're, you are naturally applying coaching wisdom to your life. And that helps you utilize all your skill more and more as you're coaching people and then helping them to be able to utilize what they know better. So we all become better more knowledgeable, more skillful, more able to work with all the things that we've put in a lot of energy to learn through learning the, through coaching and learning the coaching process. Mm. So with, with that's, that's some of the value, right? Like there's, there's so much more value that is, that is a, a part of being coaching, but just to highlight some of the components of that. And, you know, sometimes people ask, well, who should really be a coach, right? Here are some of the benefits of it, but who should really do this? Like, so first of all, as I said before, anybody who works with people interacts with people uh, in any way can benefit from learning coaching. But I think the people who are, are the best coaches sincerely want to help others, right? So that's, that's like the first thing is that there is a desire that, the desire is to help others, not in any other way, you know, to like, you know, for, for another agenda, right? And then there are skills that are helpful, you know, to have. So like the, like our own self-development, our own personal development that we've worked on ourselves is a helpful component to have in place that there is, that there's an ability for uh, like certain skills. It doesn't have to be all of them. Coaches are not uniformly good at say planning, but planning is a great skill to have as a coach. Self-reflection, time management, personal development, spiritual development, like knowledge in a particular area of life can, can be helpful. Um, these kind of things bring, bring a understanding of how to do things and how to help people learn how to be able to do things. So a lot of times coaches are working in an area where they have knowledge or knowledge or skill. So I hate that to others. And some people like the term coach and other people choose other ways of, um, of, of naming the work that they do. 
because they're like they're they they want to differentiate themselves from like the industry at large regardless everybody practices coaching because it's a technique it's a way of working it's like saying you practice therapy or you practice a certain type of therapy so it, it's a it's a tool so in that like regardless of how you choose to call yourself in relationship to the work we can rest like comfortably in the fact that coaching is a powerful powerful tool that really helps people be able to change their lives in many different ways and and in that you know can be and it can be helpful in so many different forms of of building out in terms of practice and our ways of working with people so and that then these skills also affect and support us in our everyday life, right? So learning presence, reflective listening, curiosity, being able to be a deep listener, letting go of the need to resolve a problem, asking helpful questions. These are all things that people learn how to do really well by learning coaching. And then those skills help them in every area of their life. They even help us in our own self-talk. You know, so our ability, our internal dialogue starts to be more coach-like and that helps us in our development to not get stuck in various different places. Um, and helping people navigate cha challenges makes us more adept in, in that way too, in navigating our own challenges. So helping others navigate their challenges helps us navigate ours. So th this is, is some of, you know, the benefit of coaching overall, some of, of why I love to teach this program, why I keep teaching this program, why I think that it is so valuable, why I can say with so much certainty that it is it, like a great thing for people to do, to build into their life. Um, and, and there are some specifics about, before you get into the details of the program, there are some specifics about the ITC program that I think are really unique. So I've, I've developed this program over a number of years. And, and you know, my, my emphasis is always like looking at really what is like, what has the most amount of value, what has the most amount of effectiveness, what is going to help people to be able to develop in an optimal way and experience and supervision are the two key elements of the program so because those two things make great practitioners and you, without them you know you can have all the great content you can read all the books you can do all those different things but it is the experience the application of the of the information especially <coughs> when that's strategic and then the suit and then active <laughs> from somebody who is knowledgeable and can help you develop is what grows a practitioner in the fastest most complete way so that's what I've built the program around. So it's a, in a dynamic experiential program, even though there's, there's plenty of content and I'm going to get to that, but the, the, the basis of it is in experience, which means that as part of the program, you coach someone in front of me on the, on the practice calls. So then practice calls, there are, you, you attend them as a coach, you attend them as a client and you watch their calls. So you sign up for a three in each role. And what I do, what happens during this is that when you're coaching, I listen, you know, through the whole process. And then I give you direct feedback on that session. What might have been done, different things, place where, you know, if you went off track, how to get redirected. There's a, a huge amount of information that, that is available. And this is a recorded process, so you're able to watch it, go back. Those three hours where you get that direct feedback on your coaching is like nothing else that winds up making you so much stronger but when you add to it that you also participate as a client and you also watch the process 
each one of those gives you a different perspective on the situation, a different perspective on my feedback and adds understanding about the whole coaching process. And we do that in a way that is really like supportive for you developmentally and, and helps you like make the most out of it. Sometimes people can be a little nervous about that part, but it is so powerful. People get over that and it just winds up being an incredibly beneficial learning tool. So that that's one component. You also practice with a peer coach on a weekly basis and you have your opportunities to practice with outside people. When you practice with outside people, I have a model that is developed to help you be able to transition into paid work as quickly and easily as possible. So I've set it up so that it both checks you at your developmental level so that you're working effectively, you're, you're working safely, and then also allows you to grow as quickly as possible. So if you come in with a lot of skill or a little bit of skill, the system works and it helps to step you along to the place where you actually have a paid practice of whatever capacity you want, because people want different things. Sometimes people want just a few coaching clients for a few you know, extra dollars every month, and some people want to grow a whole practice. But but the the process helps people it helps people get over their money issues their value issues all of that kind of thing so that's built into your practice hours that you do to com complete the program every month uh, so th these are some of the things like that like onboarding and the the practice elements and direct supervision Direct supervision, for me, I probably have about 25 years of experience at this particular point in time. I've trained in a bunch of different modalities. So, and it's like, and I've trained a lot of coaches. So I'm able to give very powerful feedback um, that is not typical of a coaching training program. It's a part of what I love to do and part of what I think is really the value of this particular program. So those would be two things that I would say really differentiate this program. But another one is the, which I've mentioned kind of as we've gone, is the overall way that I approach coaching just in general. So my feel, a philosophical orientation, you could say. So this, the work, the way that I help people work tends to be deeper. It tends to be more intuitive it tends to be more spiritually oriented. So it's ideal for people who are wanting to work that way. So it's not that, like we set goals, there are intentions, people are moving towards things, real world problems are perfectly great to be working on. And there's, there's an additional lens or an additional, you know, kind of tone that's brought to the work. So if you're a highly intuitive person, if you're somebody who's looking for a way to work with people and like you, you, you know, the part of what you are like saying or how you're approaching people is maybe lost. If someone is like less intuitive, this program is a great place for you because I, I work that way. I see that I understand how to help people develop their intuitive, even psychic capacity within a session and how to also check that so that it's used in a way that is responsible in, in working for other people. I can help troubleshoot issues that come from being highly empathic, helping people to really be able to, you know, like rein in and develop their skills in that way. And w w so the conversations, you know, are, are supervision calls. I don't think I've mentioned those yet. Kind of deep, you know, if, if, if the questions that are asked are, are brought forward, you know, if the questions that are brought forward um, really uh, like, uh, like draw the conversation into a place where we're, we're considering like the deeper elements of, of human experience and how we can be facilitative around that. Um, and, and so that is interesting, very, like, very interesting to, or to a lot of people to be able to explore, contemplate, and work on those kind of skills and not something that is found in just any program. Yeah. So I, 
I would say another piece is like the level of development that I, as the teacher in the program, bring to it. So the amount of training and the amount of practice that I've had in working with people. And so to have like that skilled level of oversight in, in your development is like, is, is incredibly valuable. I, I mean, I, I say that because I seek it out in my life, my own life, in my own training. I sp seek out very, a very high level mentors for myself. Um, and that's part of what I then bring to this program because this, that is what really helps us grow beyond the, the basics and become exceptional at what it is that we do. So, you know, there's probably more, but I'll, I'll leave it at that for things that I think are, are different about this particular program. And, and so now I'm going to go into just the details a little bit. And so in the details of like, what does the program include? Right. And what is it? What can you expect? Right. So what you can expect, you heard me talk a little bit about it. Right. So first there are the way that you get started in the program is that you get like put into the online platform, which you can start at any point in time. But before you start the actual like experiential training, you need to do basic skills. You need to watch the basic skills call and have a basic skills review. So this is the part where you understand the, the foundational coaching structure because we use that as a frame to help you be able to develop your work. So, so I still have a tickle. So you learn this basic coaching structure <laughs> and then you, then we move into the practice skills calls. Those are the ones that I was talking about where you are as coach client and, um, and you, you witness what's going on. So you sign up for a certain amount of those through the duration of the six month program. I ask that you space them out because I want to see your skills at different levels. You can attend all of those calls, but you only need to attend the, the, the three as each, and you can meet that requirement within one practice call. The practice calls are recorded so you can watch them afterwards. They all <laughs> are also highly valuable. So people who have gotten the most out of the program have chosen to attend all or most of those calls, even if they're not coaching, just to be able to witness what's going on because there's such a volume of, of learning that happens in those calls. Each month, there is a supervision call. The supervision call is set up to be about 90 minutes, um, but I will go as long as I can. And my goal is to answer all of the questions. So in other words, if we're at 90 minutes and you still have a lot of questions, I'm happy to continue to answer those. If for some reason my schedule does not allow that to happen, then what I do is we just, we regroup. You ask those questions during the online and I'll either do a video or I'll write something in response. If I think that there's more that's needed, I'll, I'll, I'll do more. But the idea is, is that you have a time each month where you can have all of your questions answered. So it's on you to have the questions and I will make a point of making sure that they are answered. Um, and then you have your practice, your peer coaching, and you have your outside practice, right? So all of that information is broken down for, you, for your clarity. And you would want to have, I think that it is helpful for people to have about five hours a week to put towards this program. There, there are materials online. There is a book that we read that is all helpful in the development, not, not even help, helpful, like essential. You do need a certain amount of information as well as the practice. So about five hours a week, we'll do it. It's the course is set up in six modules and those six modules can be, you are, are created to be done about one every month. Um, so it's all outlined for you in terms of like the step-by-step -step that you need to do in order to complete the program. If you're designating that amount of time, you can, you know, most people can comfortably complete 
the steps that that I have just outlined and and every basis of like what you need to know in order to become skillful at coaching is included if for some reason you reach the end of the program and you do not feel confident yet you know then you're welcome to take the program again you can take the program again free at charge the only thing that you're not able to do free of charge is to get more of the the like me giving you direct feedback as when you're coaching someone if there was a spot and you jumped into it that would be a different story meaning like if we were on a practice call and a coach wasn't there or and there was a change of plans then you know and you were available you might get some feedback that way but as a rule you don't get that that you can attend practice calls but you don't get the direct feedback anymore but everything else you can participate in and in order to support you to get to the place where you feel fully confident that you can do this work and 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 it works you know if you're if you're one of those people that's feeling a little uncertain about yourself or something like that it, you know it really works like we start at the beginning and you know, within a few months of sticking with it, if you stick with it within a few months, people are always just like, look at this, like we're, we're actually, you know, we're doing this, you know, can start to see the traction and the understanding that is happening. Um, so you can be confident that you have what you need inside the program to, to get good at coaching. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I think I have a couple more um, things to to cover. So I want to talk a little bit about the just talk about the full program outline, like the the content wise. So you have an understanding of what the content is, right? So I talked about the monthly supervision calls, the monthly practice calls, right? But on the self study, there is a book to read. But then in each one of the modules, like, so the first module is introduction and overview of coaching. The second one introduces the simple coaching structure. It's a process overview and it covers the basic skills intensive. The, the, the third module is about the first steps, right? Like digging into and understanding the techniques of the first step. So starting a session, determining objectives, your coaching presence, those kind of things. The fourth module works on working on the presenting problem, asking questions, uncovering, responding, clarifying, and all the different tools that a coach uses in order to work on the problems. So we build, we understand what coaching is, we build the frame, then we take a look at how we work inside of that frame, like how we, um, in, well, first how we engage the client, and then how we engage the client around the issue, right? That actually continues that working on the presenting problem continues to the fifth module, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that come up around this. And then the sixth module is establishing next steps, you know, so and in this, we talk about ethics and business development and all of that kind of things, things that help you understand you know, the practice, your, your practice of coaching. So each of those, the, each of the online pieces has written video, PowerPoints, things like that to, to assist you in the learning process. I am a very big fan of working with people's learning styles. So if there is challenges or different ways of working or things like that in terms of school learning or book learning, definitely let me know because I have created the curriculum to really work with that. Um, I've created the curriculum to be adaptive to people's lifestyles because a lot of people are learning this while they're doing other things. So I've created it to be adaptive. I've also created it so that it can, to, to lifestyle, but I've also created it to be adaptive to people's learning styles. So, so if there are challenges, I can tell you how to adjust the curriculum so that you can learn coaching effectively. 
um, I believe that education should feel good. So, so I think that like, there's, there's always a way that we can make something exciting or interesting when we're, when we're interested in the, in the topic and, and make it so that it's engaging and that we're learning optimally. So, you know, it's like, we've learned a lot of times to like brutalize ourselves in the learning process, but it really can be a, like a, a very enjoyable, engaging process. So if you're one of those people who like worries about that particular component about going back and learning something, then there are things in the, there are things in the system in the ITC program to really help you be able to learn coaching in a way that feels good for you. So last but not least, to talk a little bit about the timeline of this program. So the next basic skills uh, review call is scheduled in October. I believe it's October 10th. But that, that, that is what you need to do in order to get started with the practice. You're able to get started at any point in time. So if you were to decide today that you would like to start this program, then you can, you can do that and you can get right into the materials and, and start to work like, and, and get warmed up and ready to go and understanding the basic skill structure and starting to understand coaching and seeing what's happening online, all of that kind of stuff. You can do that right away, but to get ready, get started with the practice information and really start coaching, right? That would happen with the basic skills review in October. So as we're getting started here, the, uh, we have an offer, a, be a benefit to getting started early. So if you sign up here, and I believe that the date is before the beginning of September, right? So if you hit this, like this first kind of tier of coming into the program, the program, which is typically $3,800 is $3,000 for coming in on the early side and getting signed up. So that can be paid at on monthly basis. So you can pay that over the course of the program. So over the course of six months or eight months, depending. So if, the, if you're starting now, right, and the basic skills code co um, call would start the beginning of your program. So you'd actually have eight months that you would be in the program and you could spread your payments out over that. Typically it's six months. As we go kind of closer to the, t the, the D, the price is going up. The next price increases starting, I believe it is September 1st. So if you would like to take advantage of that, you will want to send us an email so you can do one of two things, just in one of the emails that you have, there's information about how to take next steps. So that that's there, it's in your inbox. Um, but you can also email. So email admin, admin at sacredlights.com. So admin at sacredlights.com. And email and just say that you would like to set up a consult and we'll send you a link and you can get signed up that way. So uh, the other thing, I wanna add one more thing before we move to that. So when you, when you get signed up for, like when you, when you ask, you wanna take a next step, you're getting signed up for a consult. The consult allows me to talk to you. So in the talking to you, I'm going to be determining whether or not the program is a good fit for you. So we need to have this call. Um, it, there isn't an option to come into the program without going through an application and a consult. So you'll want to set that up. Even if you're like, this is for me, I know I want to do it, that kind of thing. We are, we're still needing to have a conversation before the next step is possible. So you just sign up for that consult. We'll have our conversation and, and move forward from there. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention that I think is worth mentioning before I finish this call is, is that this coaching program has been, has been run for many years now. I don't know. It's maybe seven or something like that. And, but it's also part of sacred lights. 
And Sacred Light is, you know, an online spiritual development learning platform. And it is designed to help people, help coaches, help teachers be able to come in and have a way to be able to uh, grow their work, reach clients, that kind of thing. So as a second step for anybody who's wanting, there's an option to step into more business development and more business development inside of Sacred Light. So you have not only this training program, but you also have a vehicle for being able to develop the business end of your practice in in a, no, in a number of different ways. It's not restricted. It's not restricted to Sacred Lights, but Sacred Lights is a useful tool to be able to do that. So I'm not going to go into that aspect of things, the coaching incubator inside of Sacred Lights at this particular point in time, but I did want to let you know that the the further development in how to get your work out there and bring it into the world is also available and you know is it available as a next step after the the itc program so thank you for for joining and for listening uh and i hope that this information has been helpful in your and your understanding of whether coaching is right for you, whether this is something that you want to do, whether ITC is really the best program for you. If you have any additional questions, you're, you know, and you you just want to understand more, be able to ask questions, learn about the program or what is available for you in a way that you know, fits with how you understand things, um, feel free to set up a consult. If you're excited and ready to move forward, feel free to set up a consult. That is your next step. You can do that by going to or to sending an email to admin at sacredlights.com and, and we'll, we'll take next steps. So I look forward to connecting. I'm excited about sharing this program with you and uh, we will talk soon. Mm-hmm.